Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and load the last URL that I have here. This is part three. And nothing so far on that one. Hopefully I've already blocked it. Unfortunately, if we look in Task Manager, if we look in Task Manager, I see a bunch of malware running in running in memory. We've got default one dot exe, file one dot exe, and then these two dot cpx files that are running in System 32. Um, if we go ahead and open up Threatfire. And we go over to, oh, let's see, System Activity Monitor. We should be able to see all of these guys, and we should be able to kill them all. So I'll go ahead and kill that. Kill that. Kill that one, and kill that one. Let's see if they're truly dead. Nah, it didn't really do anything to them. They're still there. So it's not able to take care of these four threats. Um, I did say to, uh, I, I told Threatfire to go ahead and, and block and quarantine. Um, but unfortunately, these looks like these guys kind of made it through. We'll go ahead and reboot now, as as it asked me to, and we'll see if they're still here. Be right back. Okay, I went ahead and I rebooted. And if I look in RAM, uh, I don't see those threats in there anymore. If we open up Threat Fire. And we go to System Activity Monitor. Uh, we just have our typical processes that we had before. So, everything looks uh, nice and clean right now. That was nine uh, URLs. What, what I'm going to go ahead and do, just for the heck of it, is I'm going to do a scan. So we're going to start a full scan and see see if anything got through the behavior blocker and uh, maybe it's something the scanner might pick up just for the heck of it so be right back as it's scanning I'll be right back okay that scan completed really fast and uh, it found nothing so now I was just thinking what I want to do is I want to test the behavioral analysis part of all this we know it can recognize malware very easily, but let's go ahead and download some legitimate applications and install them. Let me turn on my network card here. So this review might run a little bit long. Maybe part four will be coming in soon. Okay, let's just go over to where I download a lot of my stuff from, and that's filehippo.com. And I'm going to go ahead and install a popular application. A lot of people use it. It's called CCleaner. I don't really believe in registry cleaners, but a lot of people use it, so we'll try to install it. And let's download this to my desktop. Just run it. And really, I'm looking for no prompt here. Um, this is not a malicious activity. I'm just installing a little application. Okay. No prompt. Um, my HIPS application would have been going nuts, telling me something's trying to install in the registry, on the hard drive, do I want to allow it, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's go ahead and install Flash Player. It's a common thing, everybody needs it. 
We need to see if it'll install okay. Okay, it's installing. And it completed, no prompts. So it looks like the behavior analysis is working just fine. It can see it's a legitimate application. Um, let's see, what else can we download? Something that starts up automatically. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I know people are yelling out to me right now. Try this. Um, AOL Instant Messenger. That's definitely going to start up automatically. And I bet this will trigger trigger Threatfire. Seems like as soon as Threatfire sees something trying to load automatically, it it lets you know. But maybe not. Maybe their community protection and whitelisting, if they're doing any, will recognize this is a legitimate application and let us go. Okay, I'm installing AIM right now. It's a big old install. And what we're trying to see is if we get any any pop-ups from uh, Threatfire. Okay, AIM installed just fine. Uh, no pop-ups at all. Let me try one more. Let's go ahead and install something like Picasso. That's probably one off the beaten trail. Okay, um, CAS is extracting right now, and it's installing, and it completed. And I'll go ahead and run it. And, and no prompts at all from Threatfire, so Threatfire is designed to do exactly uh, exactly what is advertised of it, and that is blocking malicious threats. And it does it very well. It blocks malicious threats, and it lets real applications go by without hassling you. So hang on one sec. So Threatfire did a fantastic job in this case. I wholeheartedly recommend it. It's a great behavioral analysis program. And it's my first one, and uh, I like it a lot. It's real quiet. It does what it's supposed to. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this. I'll talk to you guys later.